Welcome to Jackie Land. Yeah. Hi everybody, I'm Jackie, and for those of you who don't know, I'm normally a daily vlogger here on Jackie Land, and I occasionally like to sprinkle in story times and challenge videos because I like watching them and they're fun to make too. So today's story is going to be about my first blind date I was ever on and how it was a major fail. <laughs> it was not good. So I met this guy, um, I think through like probably Facebook or something like that. We had a mutual friend. We were texting for a while and we decided he finally asked me out on a date. And um, I didn't go on a lot of dates before this per se. Like I had boyfriends but I never went on just like when you just like are dating a guy. So it was a little nerve wracking plus I'd never really met this guy in person and Although we had mutual friends, and I think he went to my high school before, I had never met him in person, and I'd only been texting him and whatever. So we decided to meet up, and I was nervous about it, so I chose to drive myself there, and I made sure to tell my friends where I was going and the times and all that, because I didn't want to tell my parents. Um, but I wanted someone to know, because if I die, someone needs to find me. So I drove to the restaurant, and as I was waiting there, I'm, I still kind of do this, I've gotten better with it, but especially back then, if I was meeting somebody somewhere, I would stay into my in my car until I texted them and knew that they were there. Like, I was uncomfortable going in and waiting inside a restaurant or a store or whatever. Like, I would wait in my car until I knew they were there, and then I would go in. So I was doing this that day, plus I was still, you know, kind of uncomfortable about it. So I was texting one of my friends and like, kind of like, oh my god, am I really doing this? Oh my god. <laughs> and they were kind of calming me down. So as I'm waiting in my car, talking to my friend, this guy comes, you know, parks his car and starts walking in and I can hear him talking very loudly on the phone, almost yelling about a court case that he's going to and how he has to go to court soon again and the whole thing is stupid and I can hear him like cussing and I'm just like oh my god please don't let that be him like that it can't be him there's no way so he texts me that he's there and I go inside and I had seen from a distance the guy who was yelling about court and all that I could see what he was wearing so when I got inside Lucky me, that was my date. <laughs> so I was like, oh, okay, we're already, this is, this is rocky, this is uncomfortable, whatever. So I decided to just go through with the date, like just deal with it. So I, we went, sat down, and uh, one of the first things he did, which I'm not sure if we talked about this before, or I'm not sure, but back then I had a really big issue with people who drink, in alcohol in particular, like, um, I just have a lot of, like, personal issues with it, and I was okay if other people did it, but particularly the person I was dating or whatever, it, I didn't like when they did it, it made me very uncomfortable, like, I just didn't really like what alcohol did to people, and on and on. So anyway, one of the first things he asked when we sit down is, is it okay if I get a drink? And I replied, N not really. Like, I made it clear that it was kind of uncomfortable for me if he were to get a drink, but when the waiter came over, he ordered a drink. <laughs> I was like, okay, like, obviously, like, why would you ask if you're not going to respect my answer? Like, I didn't say that, but I was like, okay, this is going great. So he proceeds to talk about his interests, which one of them, I can't remember if it was karate or taekwondo, but he was talking about it in detail and about how, you know, it's like a family thing that they do. And honestly, like I could care so little about that. Um, it's more fun now, now that I like nanny a kid who goes to karate, but that's because he's a kid. Like I don't really care that much about it. So he kept talking about it on and on and on. And I could tell he was nervous. Like it's, it's cool. But he obviously wasn't very good at reading like expressions or people because I'm sure I was sitting across the table like but I really don't care so anyway he talked for a long time about that and then he proceeded to start talking about his ex-girlfriend and about how they dated for a long time and he loved her and it didn't end well and all this stuff which is like that's like that number one rule, like you don't bring up your exes on your first date. Like you just don't do that. I don't know if I do that after like quite a few dates or if I'm dating someone for a while. Like that's just not really a topic you bring up. It's, it's just very weird. And it was even weirder because they had been broken up for like a year or more. Like 
bro, get over it. <laughs> so I was like, okay, all right. And I was listening to that. And then he starts to talk about how he, um, literally everything he had ever done in his life that was like something you don't want to tell anyone or like you only talk about because it's brought up and you have to talk about it. He started talking about all those things. One in particular was, and he said with a little bit of pride, um, he's like, you know that, uh, that one Dairy Queen that's at, you know, the cross streets? And I was like, yeah. He's like, well, you know that sign they used to have and now how they have a new one there now? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, well, one day I was driving home from work and I was really tired and I drove my truck into the sign and so they had to get a new sign because I broke it. Like he drove his truck into the Dairy Queen sign, knocked it down, and they had to rebuild it because of him. And he told me this on a first date. What's wrong with you though? Why would you tell me that ever? It was so uncomfortable. I was like, okay. And that's not why he was going to court. So I still have to figure out why you going to court, why you talking about your ex-girlfriend, why you drinking in front of me when I clearly said that it does kind of make me uncomfortable, why you talking about how you knocked over a Dairy Queen sign, all on the first date, bro. And has anyone seen anything or thought about how the fact that he's telling all these stories, guess who's not talking at all? Okay, usually a first date is like a little bit of back and forth. I ask you a question, you ask me a question, back and forth. I know he was like nervous and uncomfortable, but so was I. Like I was uncomfortable too and I was nervous too. So it was just altogether a really, a really poor date. Just really not good. Needless to say, we did not continue talking and we did not go on another date because what's wrong with your brain that you're going to tell me all that though? Really awkward. So that's my story of the blind date gone wrong and don't think I ever really had blind dates again because uh, what's that? <laughs> um, if you like this story, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and let me know that you like these kind of videos. Um, also subscribe to my channel. Like I said, I do vlogs every day. So tomorrow will be a normal vlog and if you stick around, you can see a little bit of my life and it's fun to share with you guys. So like, subscribe, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye! <laughs>